Hello and welcome back. We're gonna keep playing Prison Architect and today we're gonna look at how to keep your prisoners warm. A commenter named Blue Screen 48 asked, can you make a video about how to keep them warm? And sure, let's do this, right? And the first thing, uh, it's not that cold yet. It is, uh, current season is autumn. Uh, we're gonna go into the winter. So it will get a whole lot colder then. And now uh, the warmth is satisfied, right? So that is one thing uh, that's positive about the prison is that it's uh, nice and warm. But this is going to change because winter is coming. Uh, that's what they say at that show. I don't remember the name. But the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, get prison labor. Because with prison labor, we can see how warm our prison is. And then we can improve the areas that are cold. So, uh, in the meantime, while that's being researched, I think I'm going to build a few more cells. And what I'm also going to do... I'm going to fire half our workers because, you know, look at them. They're just hanging around. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for prison labor to unlock, I want to make a, a storage area over here. And then, uh, you know, we can, we can move all of this stuff in that storage area. And that would be nice. Out of sight, out of mind, they say. Uh, so let's just, in the meantime, do that. So as you might see, we also have some new prisoners arriving, right? Uh, Simpson, Van Sande, Dylan, and Jay. Nothing special, right? I think this guy is uh, Dutch, by the way. Jonas Van Sande was born in Nijlen on May 13, 1992. He killed his first murder victim, a former named Mark, with, with a blow to the head in 2013. Nasty Joe killed 17. Men between 2013 and 2015. Once caught, he was sentenced to 15 consecutive life terms. Yeah, I think this guy, this is a Dutch name, uh, I think. So I think previous episode, maybe two episodes back, I also uh, did a short term investment and that's also almost done. So we can uh, see, almost get to 16K, right? Amazing. That's a lot of money, and I'm just going to invest it immediately into uh, a long-term investment. Same deal, you pay 5000 and then you get 16000 back, but this is going to take like uh, way longer to uh, pay back. How many days is this? 24, 5, I think 6, 7 days, something like that. So uh, it's going to take a while, but... Uh, Apparently, I also need a foreman for that to research, and I did not have that, so <laughs> so we wasted a bunch of time. Uh, let's just hire a foreman, I guess, and then, uh, like, the place is also dirty, it's disgusting, and I have to clean that up as well. It's gonna take a while before I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's just first do this. So our storage area is done, and we also research prison labor which means we can look at our temperature and that's pretty cool and you see that the current season is autumn so uh, winter is pretty close and let's heat up this area before winter comes right and then how do we do that we just buy a wa water boiler right and uh, you can place this anywhere I don't think it will cause any problems if you uh, just place it randomly in the middle of your if your cell or in, of your prison, but it does not really look nice. So I usually just uh, hide them away a little bit, and then we can place one there. We can place one there. Uh, we can also place like one here, right? Hide them away a little bit. Uh, and, the reach, and the reach of these water boilers is not very far, 
like the water uh, the water pump station you can just place one and it will reach your whole prison but uh, a water boiler i think is going to reach uh, just up until here maybe maybe even a little bit uh, less far so in the meantime you can also uh, just fill up the shower right i think there's a bit of overkill right uh, you know what yeah i think i think there was a little bit of overkill what i could do one two uh, i can just put this over here right and then we just can use this stuff for other stuff as you might see our first water boiler has been installed now we have to hook it up to some power and to some water so and what we can do after that is we can uh, buy a radiator I'm just gonna go with uh, you know, let's put one here after this has been dismantled and uh, let's put one here maybe also one there and also let's put one in the bathroom right and what we can do after that is we can uh, hook them up with hot water pipes so but I I'm gonna first wait until they're installed so yeah we see that the capacity of our power station is uh, around halfway uh, we can also increase this just to be sure right because we're gonna be uh, installing like a lot of water boilers I don't know how much energy they take uh, but let's you know be, better be uh, safe than uh, sorry and I'm just gonna place like Radiator, radiators where I think I need them, right? Uh, I don't know if there's like a way to measure the best places to build radiators, but uh, I'm just gonna play, <laughs> place them a little bit randomly where, where I think they're needed. I don't think they need one in the kitchen because of the stove also uh, uh, gives warmness and then that place okay maybe place one here right this place is empty uh, yeah for now this is good I think also one in the infirmary it's also a really important place so one of the things I did I fired like half my uh, work step and now everything just takes a whole lot longer to do <laughs> so we see like people are starting to complain right now that we don't have warmth so there's like a critical need right at the moment and there might be, the danger level is high so people are really starting to complain uh, about warmth so everybody is cold right Okay, so I fired like half my stuff. I'm gonna get a few more because this is taking too long. People are starting to complain, which I do not want. Uh, I don't want a riot. Look at this. I think a riot is on the way, right? So people are starting to fight <laughs> with the guard. This guy is just standing there, like an idiot. Yes, I <laughs> think. Second fight. Look at the danger level, that's just... You know what? I think I'm just gonna go. I 
I'm just gonna go into lockdown. No, no, not in lockdown. But, uh... Into bang up, I think. So everybody, I'm just gonna keep them in their cells. So at least we installed our first radiator, right? And what we have to do now is what hot water pipes. We have to connect these. And I'm also gonna get one more guard. Also this can also get stuff there. There and there. So we have a bunch of radiators, right? And now we can connect them up with hot water pipes to the boilers. Uh, the showers also need like hot water. Uh, and now we just wait, right? We're almost done. So we got the first radiator working, right? And when we go into logistics, we can see like our prison is nice warming up. Also the danger level is down. It is going up again. It's going up and down, so. But now we can also get rid of the of the bang up and uh, let the prisoners again roam free through our prison. Now that they are nice and warm, uh, it's still not winter. It's still autumn, so we uh, managed to get it done before uh, winter, and that's nice. So our danger level is all the way down. Uh, it was scary, but uh, we did it. Okay, so all these idiots are just going in there. And there's not a shower anymore, guys. We uh, we got rid of that. The staff room still needs some heat, but uh, you know they can wait. It's it's not a big deal. Uh, you know. Our prison, uh, you know, looks good. 20 degrees Celsius, room temperature. I'm happy with that. Maybe also put like one more uh, inside of the kitchen. Apparently it's still cold there. I thought the stove would heat that up enough, but uh, apparently not. So I might put one in there still. Like uh, all the other stuff is nice and warm. Our staff room is also nice and warm right now, now that we turned this on. So 20 degrees, you know, I can't complain, uh, this looks good. So next episode, uh, we can do like a lot of stuff. I think maybe prison maintenance because this place is filthy. Maybe make even uh, a visitation area. I think that's uh, it is time for that. And like we can do a lot of other stuff. So still enough to do. And uh, I will see you guys next time. So bye.